Oh, I bet this is gonna be spooky. This already looks so scary. He just really needs therapy, honestly. Like, lots and lots of therapy. This poor woman has been put through so much. Can we just try chopping off his arm? Okay, don't light these guys on fire, Drogon, okay? I hate this. I hate this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are getting back into more Game of Thrones. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving into more Game of Thrones, season six, and already this season is flying by. It definitely seems like people are moving a lot more this season than they were in the previous season. Season five, I mean, we had Stannis staying <laughs> at Castle Black for like half the freaking season, and then when he finally moved, he was in a camp, uh, it stuck in a storm for like three weeks. A lot of people were seeming to be a little bit more stagnant. And in this season, we've had a lot of movement. Uh, Khaleesi's all over the place, being taken to um, a Dothraki village. Sansa has made it to the wall where Jon is. Theon has made it to the Iron Islands. People just seem to be moving a lot more in this season already. Consequently, we have a lot of weird character collisions, people like <laughs> Tormund and Brienne. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but Tormund keeps making weird eyes at Brienne. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I kind of like it. I love Tormund. <laughs> People like Osha and Ramsay in the last episode, although short-lived, unfortunately. And all in all, we just have a lot of interesting stuff happening this season already. I'm really curious to see where they go with things. It seems like we're on the verge of an all-out war breaking out in King's Landing, an all-out war breaking out at Winterfell. It just seems like we're always on the verge of war and night walkers are coming and um, I'm really scared. <laughs> at this point, I'm just learning how to make peace with the fact that maybe everybody that I like will die because no one's really preparing for night walkers. I think the only person who deserves to survive, quite frankly, is John. <laughs> John deserves to survive because he has been taking it seriously and understands what kind of sh this whole world is in and he truly understands what he needs to be doing to prepare for the Night Walkers and he can't just because sh is crazy. Uh, but he deserves to survive and he also came back from the dead. <laughs> so if he dies at the end of this season, I will actually be pissed. <laughs> Actually, maybe I won't, because if his whole purpose was to come back to, like, save a bunch of people from the Night Walkers and, like, fulfill some kind of prophecy that the Red Witch is excited about, like the prince that was promised, if that's his whole purpose and then he dies after fulfilling that purpose, then that would be okay. But he does deserve to live already, this, this poor man. <laughs> He's been through so much. But yeah, lots of craziness happening, lots of fun, intense, dramatic things yet again for this season. This show is always crazy. And with all that being said, I think I'm ready to just hop on into more episodes with you guys. So if you're ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. She's got a letter. Oh boy. Oh, that's from Littlefinger. Oh Jesus. How far is Molestown? Was there anyone in that room with you? I guess there was. Oh, did she go to Molestown to meet with him? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Brienne went. Oh good. You have no idea how happy I am to see you unharmed. Unharmed? Ooh. What do you think he did? Ooh. I like that she's finally dishing some shit to him. Maybe you did know about Ramsay all along. I didn't know. I thought you knew everyone's secrets. Hmm. Oh, I love that she's finally dishing it back to him. Yes! I have an army. Your brother's army. Half brother. Oh, please. Really? We had to do that dramatic- That blocking was so cheesy, I'm sorry. I hate the f blocking where it's like, I'm gonna walk a few steps like I'm pretending to leave and then pause and say something dramatic. There was no intention there for him to stop. He did it because he was told to. I just didn't like that. None of the first faceless men were born to lords and ladies. He was the first. He was no one. Right. What fun history lessons when you're working with the many-faced god. Everybody's no one in the history books. Who? Oh no, it's a task she has to carry out. It's a job. 
Is that what it is? An actress who calls herself Lady Crane. Wow, I'm happy that there's theater in this town. I hope it's good theater. Last time we saw theater, it was at Joffrey's wedding and it was horrible. <laughs> well, it's not exactly Shakespeare, but... Oh, it's King Robert. <laughs> Yeah, we really need some better playwrights in this time. I feel the winds of winter as they lick across the land. Is that who she has to murder? Ned Stark will do fine. Now bring me more wine. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this has got to be so hard for her. Uh, th don't take it personally, Arya. This play was stupid from start to finish. It wasn't even funny. All they used were fart jokes. This mission was clearly given to her with the intent of seeing if she could handle it. The man of many faces or Jack in a car or whatever he's going by knew what he was doing. You'll learn that what I lack in height, oh. I make up for in appetite. Oh. oh my God, Arya probably didn't know any of this. Or maybe she did know about Tyrion and Sansa, but I, oh God. Wait, we've never, have we ever seen a on this show, I feel like this was the first time. That was so jarring and felt so gratuitous and unnecessary. She seems like a decent woman. Oh, don't question that the man with many faces is, or God or whatever. A servant does not ask questions. Yeah, that seems kind of culty. Uh, I think asking questions when you're about to assassinate someone is a good thing to do for, you know, your own moral qualms that you should have when you're about to assassinate someone. I, I still can't get over that dick shot, guys. That was so gratuitous and unnecessary. Oh my God. Is this the tree back before it was cold up here? Or in, in summer at some point, years and years and years ago? Oh, <gasps> Jesus Christ, who are they killing? Is that dragon glass that they just, what are they doing? They made, they made a white walker. We needed to defend ourselves. Oh. From whom? From men, yeah. If I was a warg, I definitely would go back in time a lot and watch history unfold. That would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I claim the salt throne. We've never had a queen. A woman will not lead us. Oh my God. One's own male heir has returned. Oh please, oh God, oh damn it. Oh no. Oh Theon, what are you gonna do? I am Theon Greyjoy, last living son of Balon Greyjoy. Do the right thing, Theon. And she is your rightful ruler. Oh, good job, Theon, good job. This is our queen. He's like about to cry, wow. Theon really has had such an interesting character progression throughout this whole series. Oh, Jesus. Here he is in dramatic fashion. And I bet they're gonna go with him even though it's a dumbass decision. It doesn't make sense because he's literally not been around just because of sexist reasons. I bet that's what it's gonna be. When did you return, uncle? A few days ago. After killing your dad. No one will know about that, conveniently. To execute the man who killed my father. Oh, she knows? How does she know? I did. Oh, he's admitting it. I killed him. Oh, what? What is this scene? Now we're just admitting it? He was leading us nowhere. Oh, people, are they gonna like this? Oh no, because he was kind of cuckoo. Maybe they'll be happy that he killed him. There is a person who hates the great lords of Westeros just as much as we do. Someone with a large army. Who? Three large dragons. Oh. And no husband. Dene oh, you think you're gonna marry her? She ain't interested. I mean, maybe he'll, she'll take the ships, but she ain't gonna take you. I know a lot of you guys were ragging on me because you were like, it's so ironic that you hate the Ironborn for liking democracy. That's not why I hate them. I just hate the fact that they never do the respectable thing. Like, just cause Yara's a woman, they're like, you know, Yara's a great, a damn good leader. Wait, are they fleeing? Are they fleeing because Euron is gonna be king? Let's go murder them. Oh, please. Oh my God. So yeah, they were fleeing because they knew they would come after them to kill him. That's lovely. Also, this isn't like a large group compared to all the people we saw on the boats. Like, oh, they took the whole fleet. Did they take all the ship? How did they take all the ships? Wait, I'm so confused. How did they take all the ships? How the f did Yara not win if she has that many people on her side? This just doesn't, she had a lot of people leave with her. This just doesn't make sense. I'm just confused. I don't get it. Oh, he's like, don't touch me. Oh, no, somebody's got to kill him. Oh, he's admitting it. Oh, he's admitting it. My heart is breaking for him, man. Is there a cure? No. Oh. Tyrion Lannister was right. Oh. I love you. This is so awkward with this other guy here. <laughs> now we're acknowledging the awkwardness. Oh, no, this is horrible. Can we just try chopping off his arm and stopping in the blood? You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. She, she doesn't want to say goodbye to him yet. Well, I command you to find the cure. <laughs> he ain't a doctor, honey. I command you to heal yourself. 
Uh, it doesn't work like that, honey. Oh, we're back in here. How fun. What are they eating down here? Is he going to go into the past or something by himself? Is he going to venture into the past by himself? Does he just have to touch the root of the tree? Oh, that's all he has to do. Oh, but it's, oh, it's all, so each part of the root is probably like a different point in history. Oh my God. So he just picked a random root. Oh, I bet this is going to be spooky. This already looks so scary. I'm scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so scary. I hate this. I hate this. Oh my God. It's a bunch of zombies. I hate it. I hate this. I hate this. Bran, I know this is like, they can't see you or whatever, but I, you're just wandering into this crowd like it's nothing and this is horrifying to me i hate this one of them's gonna move and i don't like it oh is he seeing a night walker finally the king or whatever he's got like a crown on his head that one yeah did he see bran oh they're all looking at him now aren't they bran let go of the branch oh my god this is horrifying i hate it how is this even possible let go of the branch the night king he saw me he touched you yeah he did. He touched you. But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. Bran, you dummy. Oh, you dummy. The time has come. The time has come. Oh. For you to become me. What? I thought you didn't want to become him. I thought that was the whole point. We can send the Blackfish a raven. We can't risk Ramsay intercepting it. It has to be you. Oh, no. Bri- Oh. No. This is a bad idea, Sansa. Brienne's protecting you. I don't like leaving you here alone. With John. Not him. Oh, is she worried about Tormund or something? And that wildling fellow with the beard. Ha <laughs> ha, Tormund, yeah, she doesn't like Tormund. Because I made this for Oh, you. she made something for him. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. John's finally get, <laughs> Tormund. <laughs> yeah, he just likes Brienne. It's so creepy, but it's so cute because I love Tormund. <laughs> I love that John's finally getting love and recognition from his siblings. Like Arya always loved and admired him, but he was just always treated like a bastard and like, you know, less than. And I just, I'm happy that he's getting some love and respect. Jesus Christ, they're already here. Oh no, this is horrible. This is so bad. How the f is Bran supposed to get out of this? Get Bran and run! Yeah, why have we been standing here this whole time? Act like, uh, th these little children cannot hold off all these people. And also, I'm just so confused. Like, this old man in the tree was like, we gotta go because the night walkers are coming for you. And meanwhile, the old man was like, hold, hold on, let me show you a couple more memories first. Even though he knew it was time for him to go, he had to go. Like, what are we doing here? Is this about to die? Because she really does not deserve it. <laughs> And neither does his wolf. Like, what the f is going on? This is so. You have to wake up! We need Hodor! Hodor. This feels absurd to me. This feels ridiculous. Hodor! Walk into Hodor now! This is too going on too long. Objectively, way too long. Hodor! Oh my god, this is just insane. Like, this is insane. Oh no. And we've waited just long enough for the White Walkers to get here. Oh, good. I'm glad she threw something with Dragon Glass. Oh, this poor wolf. If this wolf dies, I'm not going to be happy with it. Summer, no. No! Ooh! This is horrible. Why? Why? Why didn't Summer just run with them? Guys, this is... I'm sorry. This episode, I'm already angry with the shit that's going on. We just had to kill the dog because it's shocking to kill a dog. Oh, God. Well, that was creepy as hell. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I don't trust that it's over. There's still more coming. Oh my God, they're crawling on the walls. I really don't like that. The roots have overgrown the door. Hodor, come on. Do it like you made it. Just in the nick of time. We're gonna close the door. Really? And where are all the White Walkers, huh? Like, I, this just doesn't seem to, oh no. Hold the door. Hold the door. Oh no. He's having a seizure. Is that what happened to him? Hold the door. And that's why he would say Hod, what? Hold the door. This? right here is what got him saying Hodor? Are you serious? Oh, he's gonna die. Oh no, he's gonna become a zombie. He's gonna become a zombie. And I just don't understand how she's gonna get away with him moving at the speed of five miles per hour. Hodor, Hodor. I'm really sad that that's uh, how he went out. He definitely deserved better than that. Freaking schlepping Bran around everywhere to die like that and become a zombie. I don't know, man. I just had so many issues with that episode. I'm starting to get annoyed. Like the, the gratuitous 
rock scene in the theater and then the, how long it took them to get out of there just seemed completely ridiculous. Like it shouldn't have been possible with everything else that's happened in this series. Killing Summer felt like, I mean, I get it. A lot of people were sacrificing themselves in Summer, but like Summer should have just run with them. They were just all running at that point and it literally did nothing that the dog sacrificed itself. It just was like, okay, great. The dog's dead now too. Lovely. I'm angry. <laughs> Oh God, Ugh. we're back north of the wall again. Ugh. I guess we do need a follow up on where the f these guys are going. I just, this is horrible. This poor woman has been put through so much. She has to schlep Bran around and Bran is just stuck in warg state. Are you kidding me? They found us. What is she supposed to do? What are they gonna do? Something's gonna intervene. This is, <laughs> finally, who is it? Wow, this person is really helping out. Who is this person? I'm surprised that there's only this many zombies here, too. Come with me, now. Oh my god, hurry up, hurry up. Is he seriously just scooping both of them up? That poor horse <laughs> has got to schlep three people. Oh, Jesus. I wonder who that is. That voice sounded kind of familiar. Oh, is that Gilly? How did they get in a carriage like this? If he thinks that little Sam's his grandchild, he'll take you in. Willie? He hoped I'd make a man of myself by killing some bloody wildling, so it's... Uh... How convenient would it be if his dad was just dead? We get so much time with these two, and yet we've had like no time with Osha and Rickon at all. <laughs> so this could have all been Sam's had his dad not been a d It's pretty crazy. Oh, I guess he gets a ride because he would have been a royal in this area. They're all like, yeah, bowing to him, kind of. I like forgot that he could have been a lord. Sam. Is this his mama? You are lovely. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh my God, what a sweet woman. His mother really is the best. How did she marry such an asshole? I guess marriages are arranged, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that baby really is adorable. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's like a Gerber baby. I don't normally care about babies, but that baby's adorable. Oh boy, now we're going to dinner and they're probably gonna ask her a bunch of questions about where she's from and she is gonna have to lie on the spot. I thought the night's watch might make a man of you. Jesus Christ. She managed to stay soft and fat. He's very smart and kind, too. Oh, to be maester of the Night's Watch is a great honor. He can yes, wield exactly. a sword. Ooh. <gasps> Killed a white walker. There's no such thing. Oh, oh, you think there's no such thing? I saw it with my own eyes on our way down to Castle Black. Oh, she's admitting that she was north of the wild. Oh no, she's admitting that she was a wildling. Oh no, oh no, she just admitted that she's a wildling. It's gonna be bad. <gasps> Honey, you are in their house. Your way down to Castle Black. Oh boy. Gilly, you did it. You did it in one night. You're a wildling. Oh, Jesus Christ. See that sword? It's called Heart's Pain. It's Valerian steel. Oh good, it can kill White Walkers. You should definitely keep a hand on that. He will never wield that sword. Poor Sam. Look at him dissociating right now. He's just tuned that he just can't handle this. I've lost my appetite. Oh, I like that his wife is at least. You dishonor yourself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I like that his wife is so honorable and sweet. And this will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. Oh, Jesus. Well, until you die, maybe, if your wife survives you, which statistics have a good chance of that. We belong together, all of us. Oh, okay. That's your father's <gasps> sword. It's my family sword. Won't he come for it? He can bloody well try. Jesus, whoa, okay, all right. We just escalated real quick from just standing up for yourself to thievery. <laughs> but all right, that's fine. His, his father is a prick, so I'm kind of fine with it. I pray you found a lasting peace, free from strife and pain. Wow, this girl really makes Cersei seem so much more empathetic than she really is. Arya's gonna have a hard time fulfilling out this task, I think. Arya, oh, you gotta do it. I hate it. I don't know why I'm so worried she's gonna get caught. Oh, she didn't, okay. Oh. But she just feels so bad about it. I would too. How many times have you seen this stupid play? <sighs> oh no, she's gonna have a conversation with her. Oh no, she's gonna feel even worse. I didn't have any money, so I snuck in, just like you. She's gonna feel so bad about this woman being killed. What is it? Oh, Arya, Arya. Careful of that one. She's gonna blame it on someone else. She wants you dead. Oh, Aria. Oh, you're gonna have to run, Aria. You can't go back to the... Oh, no. She failed. Oh, no. Oh, no. She failed. She's gonna go. Oh, no. Is the sword there? Yeah, it is. Oh, needle. What is she gonna do? I mean, I wouldn't be a part of a cult like this either, killing people that I think are innocent. Don't let her suffer. 
Oh, is she supposed to be the one to go kill her? Oh. I have a feeling Arya is gonna kill this She's gonna, she wants to let her suffer. She ain't gonna make any promises. I'm worried about Arya, but she'll be fine. She'll just kill the other if she has to. My lord. My lord. What is going on? Oh, the civil war. Oh, Jesus Christ. These people are so stupid that they're like, they're gonna start a war over this. Like, if Atonement is just walking through the streets and she gets to have her clothes on, maybe. Oh God, and Grandmother Tyrell came. What a dumbass. I'm sorry, like, who thought it was a good idea for her to be here? I know it's her kids or grandkids, but whatever, but still. Every last sparrow will die before Marjorie Tyrell walks down that street. To die in the service of the gods would please each and every one of us. But there is no call for it today. There will be no walk of atonement. The thing is, the crowd is going to turn on Marjorie now, I feel like. I'm worried. Oh, Tommen. Oh, geez. Wow, this is such a theatrical production. It's like they had this whole thing planned out. A holy alliance between the crown and the faith. How did they not know Tommen was there? They didn't get the memo that Tommen was over there when they started this raid down the street with all these knights and swords and horses? Really? Oh, Jamie's pissed. Oh boy. I'm being sent to deal with the blackfish. Jamie's going to help with the blackfish. This is so crazy. We've always been together. We'll always be together. We're the only two people in the world. I don't know. Their relationship just weirds me out still. The way they talk about like being the only people who matter in the world. It's like, it's just very creepy and egocentric. Is he making a cup of blood? Why did you help us? <laughs> she sounds so freaked out. When I last saw you, you were a boy. Wait, who is this? Is this Uncle Benjamin or some Is it, is it, un oh my God, it's Uncle Benjamin, isn't it? Uncle Benjamin. Holy I called it. That's why I recognized this voice. Oh my God. Ha ha, what is it? What's with his face? Is that frostbite? The White Walker stabbed me in the gut with a sword of ice. <gasps> and he survived? His children found me. He stopped the walker's magic from taking hold. Oh, that's why he looks like that. Well, I'm glad Uncle Benjamin finally came back around. Yes, look at that. Yes, look at that majestic sight. And there she is on the freaking dragon. What about the horse? Where did you leave your horse? Okay, don't light these guys on fire, Drogon, okay? They're good people. Oh, they, they're loving this. She's hyping them up big time. Drogon, just don't light anyone on fire. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> That's the uh, second episode in the last three episodes to end with an epic ending just for her. I like it. We're getting more epic endings for her now. Oh no, I'm all tripped up. I thought the intro sequence was coming. Maybe later. I wonder where we are. Are we in the north? No, we can't be because it's beautiful and lush and warm here. It's beautiful where, wherever we are. This is freaking gorgeous. Oh, these poor, this poor man is carrying a tree all by himself. Holy moly. What? He survived? <laughs> what the hell? How did he survive? Who stumbled upon him and managed to save his ass? That is crazy. Where did all these people come from? There's like no other buildings around. They're just building this one structure. When I found you, I thought you'd been dead for days. Oh, this guy found him. That makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense that he survived with that infection in his neck, too. What kept you going? Hate. Hate? Ooh, for whom? Arya? <laughs> if the gods are real, why haven't they punished me? They have. Wow. So many people uh, following religion now or having some religious questions raised. I only pray your grandmother follows your lead. Why? The Queen of Thorns is a remarkable woman and an unrepentant sinner. Oh, Jesus. Or I fear for her safety. Jesus Christ. Lovely threat. Lovely little threat. Threaten all the Tyrells. Oh, great. Is she not allowed anywhere without somebody from the High Sept? This is horrible. Oh, she snuck her a note. Go home. Okay, she managed to pass her a warning. That's good. I'll see you soon, my dear. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I feel like Marjorie's just like she she clearly is putting on an act because she's good at it and she knows what she needs to do. But like it's like somebody who's trapped in a cult they don't want to be in. Oh, showing her loyalty. I thought it was going to be a note about they're after you go home. It was just a rose. But I guess it's it's proving her loyalty. That's good. Oh, here we are. Time to deal with the blackfish. 
Oh boy. Oh, there's Bronn. It's funny how even in this situation he won't wear armor into a battle. You promised me a lordship and a castle. He's like, I just want to sit on my fat ass with a castle. A Lannister always Don't pays. say it. He was trapped with Tyrion first and now he's with Jaime. He just, it's so funny. He's just bounced around with that saying, a Lannister always pays his debts. We have Lord Edmure! Oh God, poor Lord Edmure. Don't actually hang him though, because that's the only thing you guys have. And I don't think this guy cares that much about Lord Edmure, from what I remember. Yeah, he doesn't seem pressed. You think I won't do it, old man? Well, yeah, you're not going to. It's the only thing you have. Poor, I just feel bad for him. Go on then, cut his throat. He's not even speaking up. He just said it at like a normal volume. He's like, go on, do it. You won't. <laughs> Oh, I just, I really do feel bad for this guy. He married someone for Rob to do Rob a favor and now he's just been held hostage since then. I mean, he did up before then, so he kind of deserves some punishment, but not that much. The siege is under my command. If that's not to your liking, go home. Yeah, you guys don't know what you're doing. I would, I would defer to them. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, can I go here? Wait, is this, wait, where are we? Welcome to Bear Island. Oh my God. She's so little. My mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior though. Oh. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. Oh. I was his steward, in fact. I, I think we've had enough small talk. Why are you here? Oh, wow. She is sassy. I don't know if this is gonna go well. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's war? I can't say I, I blame her line of thinking, but man, she really wastes no time in getting to the point. <clears throat> yeah, Sir Davos might be able to convince her. Sir Davos is good at convincing. This isn't someone else's war. It's our war. Oh, it's so good to have Sir Davos around. I love him. Go on, Sir Davos. She likes him. And the divided north won't stand a chance against the Night King. We have to fight, and we need to do it together. Oh, damn, Sir Davos. How small Mont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. Wow. Sir Davos! How many fighting men can we expect? 62. Oh, that's not a lot. Oh, boy. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. Oh, Sir Davos. He's so good with little girls, too. Even ferocious, terrifying ones. <laughs> oh, and what an impassioned speech for 62 men. <laughs> Whoa, where is this? I feel like we've been here before. Is this across the narrow sea somewhere? Oh wait, no, this is one of the ten- Oh, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe Theon and Yara sailed across the Narrow Sea and that's, they're in one of the towns that we've been in before. Oh, it's gotta be hard for him to like, look at all these people getting it on because he can't do anything. Why do we have to come here? Oh. Some of us still like it. I'm happy that Yara is able to be openly with a woman, like out in public, that's good. Poor Loras has had to hide the fact that he's gay. I need you, the real Theon Greyjoy, not this rat pretender. Drink. <laughs> I kind of like this peer pressure in this moment. He just really needs therapy, honestly. Like lots and lots of therapy. We're gonna make a pact with this dragon queen. Oh, she stole Euron's idea. I like it. Euron announced his idea too soon. They've moved around so much in one episode when in the last season we barely moved at all. Like Stannis, Stannis was stuck for so long in like two different spots. And like these guys have just gotten around a ton. There's no time. If we went down to Castle Kerwin, I know that Lord Kerwin- We fight with the army we have. Oh boy. <laughs> is she gonna send a raven? Yeah, she's gonna send a note. I don't know. I don't know if she's doing the right thing or not. Cause Littlefinger was the one who told her about those men. And I don't trust him. And I don't like that she's going behind John's back. Never too late to stop robbing people, to stop killing people, and start helping people. <laughs> Speech feels really targeted at the mountain. <laughs> or the hound, whatever. I always mix up their names. Who are these folks? Oh no, did they come for the hound? I don't think that would make sense. The bounty on him was a long time ago. Do you have any horses? No horses, no gold, no steel. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't kill this guy, please don't kill this guy. Stay safe, the night is dark and full of terrors. Oh great, they're with the Lord of Light, lovely. What a nice touch. Were they a part of the group that the Hound crossed paths with before? Was I supposed to recognize those guys? Cause I didn't, but it looks like the Hound did. They're from the Brotherhood. Oh, oh, he knew, he does know them. Yeah, the Brotherhood. We're back with Arya. Oh my God, what is she gonna be up to? Because 
She's got a bounty on her now from the many face god. Oh god, she's gonna have to get out of here fast. Oh, I bet this is the that's after her with a weird face on. Like a different. <laughs> what? How the f is she supposed to survive that many stab wounds? That's a lot of stab wounds with a deep knife. What is she gonna do? Who's she gonna get help from? Oh my god. She's gonna have a hard time hiding when they have all the faces that in the world to use. Oh no, she's leaving a trailer, but where is she gonna go? Oh, she's horrified of every face staring back at her now. She doesn't know who she can rely on for help. Oh my god, Arya, you poor thing. Oh god. Wow, it's interesting to go back and forth between Arya and the Hound like this. <gasps> They're all dead. They're all dead. He was the only one that wasn't killed. He just killed them all? And they didn't even take their food or anything. They just killed them all. Did they hang the one guy? They did, didn't they? Are you kidding me? Why? Well, he didn't hear the whole commotion. He only heard the one scream while he was chopping wood. He didn't hear the rest of it. That, that doesn't make as much sense to me that all these people are dead and he only heard one scream. But Jesus, why would they do that? I forgot what the, the Brotherhood's whole mission was, but I remember when we met them, I remember thinking like they weren't that bad besides letting the Red Witch take Gendry, but they, were, they weren't like mean. It's so sad. They want to say hi to you. Oh, oh no, your lap's not big enough. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> he wants to stand on my lap for some reason. Do you want to sit down? Do you want to sit down? You sit, sit on my lap. <laughs> he wants to stand on it. You sweet boy. I know. You don't like being up here. I get it. All right. You can get down. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. It's really interesting to see how much faster people are moving around in this series than in the previous or in this season than in the previous one. Last season, you know, there was a lot of stagnation in terms of where the characters moved across the map. Stannis was stuck in one place for a while and then stuck in a camp for a while and... Um, it just seemed like a lot of people weren't moving around geographically that much. And this season, it's like people are all over the place and it's kind of skewing a little bit with my perception of time. It definitely seems like the world is crumbling apart even more so now than it has previously. Very surprised to see the Hound pop back up again. Was not expecting that. Uh, but crazier things have happened. Definitely curious as to what's gonna happen with Arya. I'm sure she'll survive, but I just, I don't know how. She has many flesh wounds. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen with Jon and Sansa with this battle for Winterfell and Sansa going behind Jon's back to ask for more help from people that Littlefinger told her about. I don't know if I think that that's the best idea. However, they do need more men, so I, I don't really know one way or another, whether that's a good idea or not. I just don't like the fact that she's going behind his back. Theon and Yara now may end up colliding with Daenerys in the future, which would just be crazy. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we've seen so many different characters collide, and it, it is really entertaining to see characters that you've become familiar with and seen in completely different areas of the map for so many seasons and then to see them collide. So I would be really excited to see that just because I think it'd be interesting. There are so many characters at this point that it's just... It's kind of hard to keep tabs on everyone. Some people we catch up with much more frequently than others. You know, I'd love to see Rickon again because we only saw him once when he got captured and we haven't gotten an update since. And I feel like uh, that would, I would appreciate getting an update on that because uh, we just got an update on Osha and she died. And uh, I didn't like that. So I'd like to get some screen time with Rickon. I think he deserves it. <laughs> Curious about what's going on with Bran and Uncle Benjen. I would love an update on them, but we did just see them like two episodes ago. I'm just curious to see what happens with them up there north of the wall. Curious about what a lot of characters' fates are going to be as we're nearing the end of this season as well as uh, the whole series in general. I mean, we only have two seasons left after this, and I believe... The last two seasons are shorter. Each season thus far has had 10 episodes, and I believe seasons seven and eight only have eight episodes. I could be wrong on the exact number, but I think they're shorter. So yeah, definitely curious 
how storylines are going to round out for all of the characters that I'm seeing. I think a lot of people are probably going to have to die, <laughs> unfortunately. But we only have one video left for this season if you are watching on YouTube. Uh, we've definitely powered through this season relatively quickly, and I'm excited to see what happens. But for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.